Welcome to Donegal Overlanding. It's been a little while since we created a product review, so we thought we'd get back into the swing of things by sharing our thoughts on this unusual barbecue. It's from a company in Northern Ireland called Trailblazer Barbecue. They call this model the Pico. As you can see from the design, it does not follow the typical form of a portable barbecue. It looks much more like a full-size garden barbecue that has been miniaturised. In the top lid section, there's a clever little barbecue tools holder that is an elasticated drawstring with a toggle. The grill, which is made from stainless steel, fits easily into the lifting mechanism. It comes supplied with a fully adjustable carry strap that's attached to the sides. One unique feature for a portable barbecue is the grilling drawer underneath the hot coals. It is a multi-height adjustable shelf which helps control the grilling speed and it can also be used to keep a warm food underneath. It comes with four brackets which slot into the size of the barbecue. This is used for barbecue tools. On the side of the Pico, there's a small tool holder. It keeps the Allen key and spanner ready if you wanted to adjust the lifting mechanism tension. So enough technical talk, let's give this Pico its first light. We're lazy, we can't be bothered with fire lighters, we just throw in the lump wood and use a gas torch. Once the charcoal is nearly ready, we attach the grill onto the pico. You can see how easily it attaches. Then we use the supplied scoop to spread the charcoal more evenly. A sausage and a piece of chicken. Straightforward stuff. It's great being able to look underneath the grill, that's impossible on a normal portable barbecue. Here you can see us lowering the height of the grill to increase the heat a little. The device you see here is called a Thermapen 1. It's a digital thermometer that takes all of the guesswork out of cooking. Cooking should be cooked to 74 Celsius. This was our first time using it and it was only 58 Celsius internally. Again, a small adjustment in the height to increase the heat. Hmm, we might have gone a little bit overboard here. It is our first time using it, so it's a learning curve. So here we have 76.4 inside the chicken. Time to get it off. It's surprising just how quickly the internal temperature rises, so checking the temperature often is advisable. The next day we wanted to check on something that we know is a major concern for people who want to use their pico while out on a day trip or camping. We wanted to know if it would damage a plastic table. We had another uh, plastic lighting table which was damaged when we used our uni. As you can see here, there is uh, no signs of any damage whatsoever. So this is a verified pass for the pico. Now we're going to try some kebabs. We decided to make a garlic sauce. Uh, this is not a recipe channel. But you can have a, a small peek at how it was put together. It's so cheap and easy uh, to make this kind of thing at home yourself. Much cheaper than buying it from the supermarkets. All this filmmaking and barbecuing, it's, it's hard work, you know. So, this is a well earned beer. We threw everything together into a pita bread and it was absolutely delicious. Now, this wouldn't be a Donegal overlanding review if we didn't take it out on a little adventure. The Pico is a portable barbecue after all. So we put it into the back of our Land Rover, which we have named Senorita Roja, which translates into English as Miss Red. It definitely sounds better in Spanish than in English. 
We searched on Google Maps for a long time. This location is about 150 kilometres from our house. It was remote enough that we could let Keel off the lead, which is really rare because he doesn't ever come back unless you're cooking food. So we're down at this beautiful isolated lake. Time to barbecue some chicken kebabs bought from the local Mercadona. We think it's important not to get too carried away and get all foodie on you. Of course, there are those who are right into grilling and they have some amazing talent, but we feel the majority of people are not necessarily hugely into cooking. They just want to enjoy some sausages or burgers. Now, we're going to try the drawer out for the first time. Lee's a vegetarian, so as ensuring that the fat from the meat doesn't go down into the drawer, she decided to toast some bread. Now that the bread is toasted, she adds some cheese and puts it in to melt it. Kebabs ready, sausages ready. God, they were delicious. Just look at that. Down by the lake, drinking a beer with a barbecue. It's what it's all about. And the cheese on Lee's toast melted to perfection. She was so happy. Well, the next morning we woke up and it was another beautiful day. Kilo sat at my feet while we prepared our coffee. It was such a tranquil location to camp. Next time, we'll bring our fishing rods. So back home, sitting at the pool for our third and final grilling test. This time it's going to be a large chop and some chicken kebabs with Chinese marinade. Sitting here with the birds singing in the palm trees, drinking an ice cold beer while grilling on the pico. It's just amazing. Now Trailblazer, the, the company who made the barbecue, they actually manufacture all of their barbecues in Northern Ireland and they sell them all around the world. They're known for their huge catering trailers, which many of you may have seen at various events across the country. They're celebrating their 10th year in business and they've manufactured the largest and the smallest to this pico to celebrate. What we love about it is that you can clearly see this has been built using the experience Trailblazer have in making their much more expensive units. It's such a sturdy little unit that's capable of fine temperature control using the lifting mechanism. That gives control similar to cooking on gas but without the disadvantages of using gas outdoors in the wind. Sometimes it's not easy to put into words who you feel about something. With a pico, on the face of it, it's just another barbecue. But when I'm using it, when I'm sitting there waiting for the food to cook, it brings a smell to my face. I love that it's made locally in Northern Ireland, supporting jobs there. And I love the fact it makes me feel happy when I'm using it. Now, if you're interested in the pico, have a look at the Trailblazer barbecue website. I'll put a link to it in the description. Thank you very much for watching our video of the Pico. If you enjoyed it and want to see more Pico content or even just to follow our adventures, then consider subscribing to the channel.